In this video, we're going to be solving these simultaneous equations using the method of using the inverse matrix that we looked at in the previous video. Okay, so with number one, we have five, negative three, seven, two. So the coefficients of the x's and y's multiplying with x, y will be equal to 28, 64. Okay, so x, y will be equal to the inverse matrix of this one here. times 2864. Okay, so going into matrix mode, defining matrix A, two rows, two columns, uh, we've got 5, negative 3, 7 and 2. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I've written down um, what that actually is. So we're getting 2 over 31. 3 over 31, minus 7 over 31, and 5 over 31. So that's being applied against uh, 2, uh, t sorry, 28, 64. Okay. So let's define another matrix, matrix B. Uh, this has got two rows and one column, 28 and 64. Um, so then, matrix calculation, we're going to do matrix A to the minus 1 times by matrix B. And we get 8, 4. So, X is equal to 8, Y is equal to 4, solves those simultaneous equations. Okay, All right, let's have a look at number 2. So we have 6, negative 4, 18, 8, being applied against x, y, and that's going to be equal to negative 9, 3. Okay, so x, y must be the inverse matrix of 6 minus 4, 18, 8, being applied to minus 9, 3. Okay, so... Uh, define matrix A, uh, two rows, two columns. So we've got the 6, negative 4, 18, and 8. So let's see what the inverse matrix actually is for that. So we get uh, 1 over 15, 1 over 30, minus 3 over 20, and 1 over 20. That's being applied to minus th 9, 3. Right, so if I define uh, matrix B to be one of two rows, one column, uh, with minus 9 and 3, then on the matrix calculation, we can do matrix A to the minus 1 times by matrix B. Uh, so we're getting minus 1 half and 3 halves. So... Solutions, x is minus a half, and y is three halves. Okay, so that's how we can use matrices to solve these simultaneous equations.